Dear creators, I am Arav and you are yet start ready to watch the review of EOSP Extended ROM for Redmi Note 10. So as you can see, it is, I have currently installed this ROM and it is working on Android 12 L as you can see this with the easter egg and if you wanted to see that extended version is EOSP extended version 9.1 official and it is working on official bit so there is no issues with that Android security update is 5th May 2022 Android play system update is 12 if you ask me for the build it is 2 May 17 kernel version is Legion X is used so you can expect what kind of performance do you expect from this home for the systems you got to see that the gestures option in the gesture options you can see the not much customization but here, here is the option for haptic feedback full screen gestures and nothing more and prevent ringing and many things were available but all things can't be explained in one video because these things generally come in another room so you have already known to this you do get an updater by, by this updater you can get this ROM updates. Thanks for Bahadu Ghatti, which is the maintainer of this ROM, specially. And if you uh, ask me for the internet, I am using my both primary sims and currently now connected to Wi-Fi, 2.4 gigahertz. I'll also share a live screen, sorry, speed test demo in the video. Apart from that, if you ask me for the internet, all things were working fine. The calls quality are pretty good. About connected devices, I used my Bluetooth speakers. There is no issues. Extension is option. You get to know about how to change their customer wife, global things like battery styles, battery percentage, next to icon, inside to the icon. Which type of do you want? I like next to the icon, so I put it back to my video. Clock and date setting you can arrange. Nothing more new to that. Navigation bar and the gestures. I already give a glimpse of that to you in the video battery battery charging light they since there is no any physical charging light so it doesn't work it's the kind of work customization wallet reader is there you can use black theme and many other customization colors like if i change the color as you can see this it gets automatically changed as you can see it, it gets changed so there is no issues with that also you can change headline font if you want to change the font you can easily change that to like I have changed it just yet. Wi-Fi icon style, you can select the bars, baby, everything that you want, you can customize it. There is nothing new to tell me about. Icon shapes, there is few icon shapes, not all. What do you get changed? For the personal experience while using this ROM for three days, I can say this ROM doesn't seize all types of benchmark because I have run anti 2 also. In anti 2 it gives pretty normal scores as you can see. 2,25,101 in the GPU it scored 43348 and the UX is 80394 and there is 6.1 degree up in temperature as you can see this and only 1% of battery drop. Nothing new, I have also read the storage test. As you can see this it gives 21,621 so it is pretty good score about in the fact of anti 2. If you ask me for the battery stats, not really, no thanks. History. If you can see this, I have charged my phone from 8% to 53%. It took 28 minutes after 54% to 90%. It took 30 minutes to charge. And after 90 to 97%, it took 22 minutes to charge. Yeah, it approximately 280 minutes to charge. One hour, about 20 minutes to charge. It. And for the screen on usage, I can say that it does a pretty well job because as you can see the graph of that, I used heavily this one. As you can see, I used Hotstar for 2 hours, 30 minutes, Netflix for 1 hour, UD for 1 hour also. Many things I have used. I got about 16 to 17 SOT, hours of SOT. So there is no problem. It doesn't heat quite a bit, lot of it. Sorry, quite a bit, lot of it. Not, we are same things. And if you can see the animation smoothness, sometimes it creates lag, but it doesn't matter that because everything cannot be perfect if you ask me for this screenshot in the terms of CPU throttling test it performs 76 to its lack of hours and the max is 147 0770 GIPS and the minimum is 97345 
so not really expecting this kind of score from cpu throttling test but, but it's so so because according to my personal review it does a pretty well job like i used to open twitter in many rooms i see a bug like that if i refresh that and i scroll the that it creates a lag but it doesn't create any lag and the opening and closing is animation is too good there is no lag between anything and if you ask me for the device certification device is certified there is no issues with the device certification safety net test if you see that i have i have to run that test if you see it passes the test so there is no issues with the banking applications too and if you want this kind of wallpaper you can do check out my telegram group i will give the links of the wallpaper in the my telegram channel or group both and by the way if you like my videos please like the video and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get notified whether we upload a video so about asking for the widevine support let me help you check to out in the netflix you can see this app settings and the playback specification is l1 so there is no issues with the l1 certification it works fine hdr capabilities you can see this and if you are asking for the speed test i am just connected to my 2.4 gigahertz wifi so you can see the speed test result it's uh, my plan is about 50 mbps and you are getting a pretty app normal not good scores in this so there is not nothing more problem with that so yeah it is we got 46.9 mbps of download and 47.3 mbps of upload so it is pretty well good pretty well good score if you again i am telling if you like my videos please like subscribe to our channel if you don't then what do you want you can do but please like subscribe to our channel because it makes a very lot of efforts to make a video for that so thanks for watching my videos keep rocking